See how ANZ could help you pay off your home loan faster. Search ANZ Home Loans. Tomorrow's weather might not be perfect for everyone's plans, but it's great for making power. At Meridian, we only generate power from wind, water and sun. Kia ora. While well, most places have enjoyed a fine end to the weekend, a couple of rainy fronts have been moving up along the west coast and these will hit the North Island tomorrow, so prepare for some rain. Another pair of fronts will also reach the far south and this rain is going to be followed by a very cold southwesterly flow. We are expecting quite a bit of snow on Tuesday. So the top of Te Waipunamu, the South Island, will get showers tonight. These should clear by the morning, so a fine start for most places. During the afternoon, heavy rain will start to track north, followed by those very cold southwesterlies. And a cloudy night for Te Ika Amaui, the North Island. There'll also be a few showers. We could see some thunderstorms over Taranaki and Kapiti tomorrow morning as the front comes in. This rain will spread east across the island as northerlies change to a westerly. So northern areas, you might need an umbrella in the morning as there will be some rain and showers. Things should ease during the afternoon as northerly switch to westerlies. And all places here will get some rain throughout the day, but by the evening the weather should clear and again northerly winds will switch to a westerly. Now out east and a wet Monday for Masterton and Danny Virg, there'll also be gusty northwesterly winds. Hawke's Bay and Gisborne should manage a mainly fine day with highs of 20 degrees. The rest of the island will get heavy and possibly thundery falls. After lunch, things should settle with just one or two showers. Wellington, just watch for strong northwesterly winds in the evening. Now, Nelson will wake up to a bit of rain. It should clear quickly, so plenty of fine weather for everyone here. Although the west coast will get rain at night as southwesterlies develop. Now, occasional morning rain for Blenheim. Other than that, more sunshine for eastern areas, and it is going to be windy as northerly winds will pick up. Further south and clear skies will make for a frosty morning in Queenstown and Alexandra. Cloud will build up as the day goes on and by the evening all places will have rain as a couple of fronts move in. So a fine day for Aotearoa, Dunedin, but you will need three layers to keep warm. Rain will also develop in the evening as a cool southwesterly comes through. More sunshine for Ōtautahi Christchurch. You'll also get a northerly wind and a top temperature of 16 degrees. Our capital, Te Whanganui Atara, will wake up to possibly heavy and thundery falls. This should clear in the afternoon before strong northwesterly winds pick up. And a cloudy outlook for Te Mato Amawi, Hawke's Bay. After lunch, the sun should shine through and your high 20 degrees. Now, Tauranga will get a few showers. Most of this should clear by the evening and northerly winds will change to a westerly. And a wet old morning for the mighty Waikato. You will get a chance to dry out in the afternoon as again northerly winds change to a westerly. And a similar forecast for Tamaki Makoto, Auckland. A rainy morning will clear to a mainly fine afternoon and northerlies will switch to westerlies as the city warms up to 19 degrees. Well, overseas we go and plenty of sunshine for our neighbours with just a few showers in Perth and Melbourne. And some nice sunny weather for the islands, the Cook Islands, with loads of sunshine and 27 degrees. We're well, back here now in just a few showers for northern areas with some stable looking temperatures as well. Most places here will be reaching 20 degrees, although Taupo, you will be a bit cooler with 13 and 15 degrees. The rest of the island will get rain and strong winds, but things should settle quite quickly. And a sunny outlook for the top of the South Island, although Tuesday is looking chilly. We are expecting snow down to 200 metres in Southland and Clutha on Tuesday. So prepare for a winter blast. Those in the far south are certainly going to feel it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wrap up. Thanks very much, Alex. That's News Hub Live at 6 for Sunday. Join the AM team from 6 tomorrow. You can get in touch with the News Hub team at news at newshub.co.nz. I'm Tom McRae. And I'm Melissa Chan-Green. From us, good, good night. night.